it's Peggy and we are back with the Femarimba day number three so I'm going to we are going to make something with a bright color Ooh, not something for me and we are going to make a journaling card so I don't have to pick out of my bowl uh, as to what we are going to make I'm going to take something from my bowl um, I think two little thingies that I'm going to work with so a wax seal so a journaling card with some bright colors a wax seal and a tab okay I can work with that then we have to also pick an element for a vocal point but we will get to that in a minute I want to go and grab um, my Prezi so I just went to my little top and got my number three Prezi out and oh, I'm so excited let's see what we've got day number three love this every day it's Christmas Ooh, I love that maybe there's some bright colors in there these are all Christmas fabrics love it so cute and so pretty but vibrant colors yeah this is so nice look at that glitter love it some kitty I love this actually look at this go fold it like this we've got a, like a little envelope that's an idea I'm gonna make this is bright isn't it I think so I think I'm gonna make a little envelope with this and then put it on my journaling card yeah it's also got some blue vibrant colors this is also really nice ah, I'm so happy my little bundle of fabrics so let's go get everything and start day number three okay guys so i've got my little piece of fabric i, don't know, I think i really i'm going to use that i think that's a cute idea i've got my journaling card and then i've got this velvety piece of ribbon it's also really really vibrant i'm gonna think i'm gonna use some cheesecloth and I've got a piece of this, I don't know, this is like a ribbon lacy thingy, I don't know, for, I thought, maybe a pocket. I'm not sure yet. And then this I want to use as my vocal point. So let's see, I'm going to glue this cheesecloth onto my journaling card and I'm ju I'm just using some fabric glue and I think I will leave the edges so that I can sew if I want to Let's put on glue everywhere I think that's fine I'm not that fussed about that so I'm just putting that on there for some texture and I think I will be hmm, what colors I think I might spray some inkies on here just not sure what colors and I think I want to use this as a little pocket at the bottom so maybe some five brick is the only red I'm just gonna have a look if I've got any uh, different red inks H mahogany don't know if you can see this I'm gonna and pine needles but I think I will be using some of this red I'm just gonna go over the cheesecloth with this and spray with some water and then need some water
and I'm just going to dry that quickly. It's not completely dry, but I thought I was I would just try and spray some of this as well. This is fired brick. And see, oh, well, finished. <laughs> spray some more water on there. This is a bit more orangey brownie. Yeah, I think that's okay. And maybe I want to put some of this as well. Just some green for some something different. And I will be drying this. Okay, so I dried this. So I want to put this on here as a pocket. So I think I will be sewing this and I also want to punch a hole before I sew. Let's do that. Before I want to, I think I will do it a bit off center. So I want to hang this on there. Just have to make a hole in this one as well. There we go. And just ink that a bit. So I'm going to hang this on there. And first I want to sew this on here. Like so, like a little pocket. And I will be back. I'm going to do that quickly. Okay, done that. I'm going to snip this off. to put that on there but I just want to do a little stenciling on the back here and I think I will be using this aged mahogany just to be real soft stencil on the back don't want it to be too so that we can write too prominent on on there so that's fine um, let's see I just want to get some more there there we go so got some stenciling behind on this can write on there as well now I want to put that on there with this little ribbon Get that through that little hole, cheesecloth in the way. There we go. Now just have a look at what I want. I think this is like this. Yeah, there we go. So I think that's cute. Just turn this around. Get the dark red on the front here. Yeah, there we go. So I'm just going to snip this off. So I've got the front. Now let's see what we can do on the back side. Oh, and we have to use a tab. Almost forgot. So I'm just going to. I punched one of. Oh, a tab with my tab punch. Just gonna glue that on there. I'm 
just using some fabric glue. You can use any glue you want. And glue that on there. So on the side, and I'm just going to clip that on. So that it can dry. Yeah. Okay, so now for the back, I want to use this and just sew around it to make it like a little envelope. So I'm just going to I think sew on the bottom here. So then we've got like a little pocket. Okay, so I've sewn on the bottom here and I don't really like it. So I'm just going to put some fabric glue on there to cover to cover that up with some of this beautiful um, velvety ribbon I've got. Like so. Okay, just clip that on there. So we can put some something in there. Let's see. Um, okay guys, I think this is dry now. And I found this really cute little ephemera piece. I think this is also from... Um, Louise's kit that I'm using in my junk journal and I'm going to as well as this This piece is also from Louise's kit if I'm not mistaken And I want to use this to put that in this little pocket But before I want to put it in I want to put a beautiful wax seal stamp that I got from um Craspire. I will link the link down below for you guys where I got these and I'm gonna use this one and these are all Christmassy and this one is yeah, well all also Christmassy but also wintry so a little snowflake and I'm in love with these I'm gonna use this one it says Merry Christmas and I want to stamp it on here and I was thinking of using this last little piece of red wax I've got. I just want to put this cardstock in here for when I am going to put the seal on there. It's going to go through the, the fabric. So I hope now this works. This is most of the time a bit faster for I just want to make one stamp on here. So I want to close this, these two pieces of fabric where they come together. I want to close that up with a wax seal. So I'm just going to drip some wax on there. There we go. I think, I hope this is enough. I want a good impression on there. And I'm just going to give one or two drops on there as well put that aside get my wax seal and i hope i have enough i think so and just seal that up Some smoke elves here so while we're waiting for that i want to put a little top on here i think i'm just going to use the same ribbon as we have used on this one and I'm just going to tie a little knot on there and I have written on the back of this already I have written day 3 of the Femarimba 2022 I am having a ball and got three amazing presses so far as well I've got this closing machine I'm not sure the Harry Nax, what it's called but loving that uh, the, I've got that die cut 
those die cuts I got and then these beautiful fabric pieces and I said on to the next 22 days so that I'm going to put in there oh look at this beautiful impression that I got from um, this beautiful stamp that I got from now I just want to take it out uh, from Craftspire I got it off now and I'm just going to use some of my gilding wax to get a nicer impression or so that everybody can see what it says it's really cool and can put my little tabby in there taggy as you can see a beautiful stamp Merry Christmas it says and I want to put that on the back here so I think I'm going to glue this on three sides so if I want to I can tuck some something else in there as well so just on the sides here and some glue on the bottom too much and let's see let's glue that on here there we go and this little taggy can live in there so oh now I forgot I wanted to put this underneath there this is some seaweed stuff that I bought in a shop. They got these little baggies and they've got all kinds of colors. And I wanted to put that under the wax seal, but I totally forgot. Okay, so now what I want to do is use my this little thingy and see if I can make I can get it to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this circle punch. I'm just going to have a look. I think I want, to, I want it to hang it off there. And I don't want it to be too big. Maybe I should make it. But this is really small. But this is like the size that is nice on there. So I'm just going to uh, get one of these circles. There we go and then I want one of these circles from vellum okay so I punched one out of vellum as well so now this can go on here but I want half of it so let's take half off like so and we can make that into a really tiny little pocket with this thing in the bob I'm just not sure how I'm going to do that for well, this is really small <laughs> let's see if I can get it in there and I have to press that down let's see if that worked if I can get it out yeah here we go now on the bottom don't know if I got that one yeah cool and then on the other side as well really nice here we go oh this is a bit I didn't get that one missed that one a bit but now you've got like a little pocket so you can put something in there there we go and that is the idea and I'm not in love with this so I'm not going to use that it's too small to work with but I want to do a dingly dangly thingy on here so I'm just going to have a look I think I am going to put on some beads. Okay guys, so I've got a little bulb pin. I'm going to make a little hole in here 
put our wallet on here. There we go, got a little hole there. And I've got some beads. So let's see, I want some, just put some three beads on here or something. Just a red one, uh, like a beigey one, and another red one. I think that's cute. Yeah. And let's put that on here. Turn that around like this, and we've got a really cute little dingle dangle. So we've got a little taggy, and then we also can tuck something in here. We can write on the back there, and we've got a little pocket on the back here with a cute little tag. So I think that's a cute one and I hope you liked it too. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Till next, till tomorrow actually. Bye bye.